guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review. And today's game up on the tabletop is called Gosh Darn Bubbles. Gosh Darn Bubbles plays two or more players, and you're basically attempting to gather treasure from the bottom of the ocean. What you're going to need to do in the game is you're going to need to get three of them, uh, the <laughs> treasures, and ah, and basically as you draw the cards from the deck, you're going to be attempting to uh, dig through more. And if you don't, if you draw a bubbles card when you dig, you're going to get treasure cards. These are the treasure cards, and if you can get three of them, you win. But it will be a challenge. There's going to be cards in the deck that players will either play against you or to help themselves, and they're going to be attempting to get as many of the treasures as possible. Whoever can get the most treasure. The three at the end of the game is gonna be the winner in the game. Gosh darn bubbles. Let me go ahead and show you down below everything you get in the game, and then we will talk about how to play and my review of the game. Gosh darn bubbles. Gosh darn it! Bubbles! So here we have the components for gosh darn bubbles. And as you can see, it plays up to four players. Everybody's gonna get three cards from the sh shuffle deck of gosh darn bubbles. And over here are, is the treasure pile. This is gonna be always uh, away from the deck, the hand of the discard pile. And you're basically trying to gather three of them. And all you need to do is play sunken treasure chests, draw from the top of the deck, and hope that you don't get bubbles. Bubbles do nothing and are no good, so you never want them. That's pretty much what you get in the game other than a rule booklet and of course the game box itself. Out. Pretty simple as to what you get for the game, gosh darn bubbles. You guys ready to play? Let's go ahead and show you down below. So we're going to go ahead and start with a four player game. We'll just take you through a round to show you how it works. But it's fairly simple. You start with your three cards, you play a card, and then you drop to your maximum hand size. You're trying to get treasure cards and you're trying to avoid bubbles in order to get them. Let's start with this player here. He's got his three cards from his shuffle deck. He's got a duck with an afro. He's got bubble sealed lock, and then he's got a gold digging killer whale. Let's go ahead and read the first card here. And it says that you can play the top card of the deck. The bubble sealed lock says, you can place this card in front of any player and the next time that that player plays a sunken chest they have to add plus three to the number of cards they need to discard in order to get a treasure that's pretty mean then they have the gold digging killer shark or killer whale this says reveal the top three cards of the deck if any sunken treasures are revealed add them to your hand and discard the remaining cards it's a pretty good card we need sunken treasures in order to gain treasure so we'll play that and then we'll reveal the top three cards of the deck any of them sunken treasures? They're not. Oh, too bad. Discarding the remaining cards. After that, he's played his card. He's going to go ahead and draw a card from the deck, and that will end his turn. That's the next player's turn over here. He's got bubbles that do nothing. A jerk face shark. Discard one card from uh, placed in front of another player. So any of those permanent cards. And then this one says, place this card in front of another player, plus one of the number of treasures that player requires to win the game. So instead of three, now they'll need four. Let's play it on this guy over here. That's not going to help him whatsoever. And he'll draw a card to end his turn. The next player over here has a sunken chest. Let's go ahead and show you how those work. So I'll play one of these guys here, and I'm going to discard the top three cards of the deck. As long as no bubbles pop up, uh, he's going to get a treasure card. So if those bubbles were to pop up, he would not get a treasure. But because they didn't pop up, he does. He'll draw a card to end his turn, and it's the next player's turn. A deep king, a deep diving kingfisher. Let's so just card the top card of the deck, and then play the new top card of the deck. Okay, so I'll discard the top card of the deck, and then play the new one. This one says extra tentacle. This player gets extra plus one to their hand size, so that will stay in front of them. So he'll draw at the end of his turn to four cards as opposed to three. All right, let's go ahead and draw... Let's go ahead and play another one here. He's got a duck with afro. Play the top card of the deck. Ooh, let's see what happens. Uh, deep diving kingfisher. Discard the top card of the deck. And then play the new one. This one's bubbles. And they don't do anything. Dang it. Drawing a new card to end his turn. And the game will continue. Let's go ahead and go one more turn here. Play one random card from another player's hand. Oh, that doesn't sound very nice. Let's do that. And he'll take this card here. Let's see what it does. Nothing! Ah, oh, it's no good. And putting another card in his hand, ending his turn, and now it's this player's turn. And the game's just gonna keep going on like that until somebody gets three treasure cards. I remember with sunken treasure cards, when you play these guys here, when you take the top three cards of the deck, as long as no bubbles get revealed, you're okay. But the moment you get a bubble card, which oh, luckily there isn't a lot of them, this one here, that stops you from getting treasure, and those are always no good. They also don't help you in any way in your hand. But that's pretty much the idea of the game. It's quick, it's simple, really easy to teach and a little bit of fun. Let's go ahead and talk about it in my review up above. So what is there to say about gosh darn bubbles other than 
it lives up to its name. Your objective is to gain treasure, but you want to avoid bubbles at all costs. Whether they're in your hand or being discarded to try and gain treasure, it's never good for you, and they're no fun. However, everything else in the deck is. All the cards feel really nice to play, and I enjoy that aspect of the game, and I also like the artwork. It's a cute little game. I wasn't sure what to expect with this one here, because usually when you get a deck of cards, who knows what kind of game it's going to be, but this is an enjoyable family game. This is a game I would definitely have my kids play in, or, or or my uh, cousins or whatnot, any of my younger ones, they're gonna have a fun time with this one. It has a little bit of take that in it, but it's not overly mean. It also has a little bit of luck and chance. And uh, when you're drawing cards from the deck, you wanna avoid those bubbles, especially gaining those treasure. But when you play a card, it feels like it makes a difference throughout the game. You go, okay, I wanna play the top card of the deck. Oh, I don't like the cards in my hand. I wanna discard them, draw. Sometimes it's like, oh, I can do this, but it's not as good as doing this. Maybe, because this might actually be more random chance than actually playing what I know. So you have those options in your hand, like, oh, I don't know if I want to do that. You got stuff like, let's see, best friends forever. Discard your hand and then draw three cards from the deck, then choose a player. That player chooses one random card from your new hand, and you you play the card they choose. So if you got a bunch of bubbles in your hand, best friends forever is amazing. But if you got a card, if you got two cards, two sunken treasure cards in your hand, discarding those is not worth it. So it teaches choice. It's going to be good for kids specifically, determining what cards is best in their hand. And as they play this game, they're going to get better at it as to what cards they play. Now, there is a lot of, like I said, chances to whether or not bubbles are going to pop up. And it does that job, right? You're always going, oh, bubbles. I do not want that in my hand. I do not want them when they flip. They're irritating. They bother me, which is kind of why I do the whole bubble machine, because it's literally what reminds me of this game when I am uh, playing it is avoiding those things at all costs. Whether I win or lose in this game, I have a good time. And I think that's a good message to send to kids as well. It's something I would definitely suggest taking a look at it. If you got little ones or a family game, you want to check out something that should be pretty fairly reasonably cost, has really good artwork, it's cute, it's fun. Gosh darn bubbles. I think one or two little critiques I would have is I'd actually like to see the artwork, a full cover artwork for this stuff, as opposed to having it cut off in the different little portions. I'd like to have the treasure chest all the way around and the bubbles all the way around. Especially the bubbles, they don't do anything anyway, so I'd just like to see a card that just shows bubbles on it instead of this specific layout. The layouts are just kind of meh to me, but everything else is enjoyable. I like this game. Check out Gosh Darn Bubbles down below in the description if it's something for you. All right, guys, thanks for watching another Unfiltered Gamer board game review. If you like this video, go and check out the rest of our videos here on YouTube. Like, subscribe, and comment, as well as taking a look at Gosh Darn Bubbles in the description below. I think it's going to be on Kickstarter if you want to take a look at packing the game, as well as taking a look at the website, unfilteredgamer.com. Tons of blog posts, giveaways, Kickstarter lists, and more. We're also giving away a couple games on there. You can go ahead and pick it up if you have any interests subscribing and all this kind of stuff, push that bell notification button. And don't forget to check out our friends, everythingboardgames.com and the Giveaway Geek. Tons of great website stuff as well from them. A lot of giveaways and our live stream. We do that every week on Wednesday, 7.30 p.m. PST. If you like live streams and getting free giveaway games, you're going to really enjoy that. All right, guys, that's all I got for you this time. And as always, I look forward to seeing you guys next time. Gosh darn bubbles.